And President Kulak Jonathan has officially commissioned the 2.5 million metric ton capacity Lafarge Wapco cement plant in Ewekoro in Ogun State, southwest Nigeria. And while opening the 350 million euro plant, President Jonathan lauded the company for embracing the federal government's backward integration policy on cement manufacturing aimed at helping Nigeria become self-sufficient and an exporter of the product. Dr. Goodluck Jonathan arrived at the gigantic Ewekoro plant to a reception attended by top government officials, eminent Nigerians, traditional rulers, investors and shareholders, a company that traces its history back to Nigeria's independence and enjoys about 35% of the industry's market share. Its management speaks on its current potential. Our expanded operations here in Iwekoro will now employ almost 1,000 people and inject over 6 billion naira into the local economy every year through salaries, taxes, the use of local contractors and suppliers where possible, and partnerships with the community. In a country such as this, where there is rapid development, the government plays a key role to lead and enlarge the economy. We thank you for your strong backing of Lafarge in Nigeria and for fully supporting foreign direct investments. The new 2.5 million metric ton capacity plant is a testimony of Lafarge's commitment to the federal government's backward integration policy on cement manufacturing. And President Jonathan is glad. Because today we are seeing the benefits. And the last time I had a meeting with cement manufacturers, I was promised that by the first quarter of next year, we may stop the production of cement in Nigeria. If we achieve that, that would be great. But what we are seeing today gives us hope. Designed for a 50-year lifespan, this investment will create employment for Nigerians and value for investors. Also called the Lakatabu plant, the Wekoro 2 boasts state-of-the-art facilities like silos, covered conveyors, truck park, independent power plant, water treatment and effluent plant, dust collectors, and adopt best and environmental practices in its daily operation. Henry Ogunjimi, Channels Television News.